Oh, now I got some room in the garage. If you guys remember, oh no, it's stuck in second gear, I forgot. Yesterday, we were working on this little Honda 80. No, let's see if that's dry. Oh gosh, hard as a brick. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good though. Let's send it. What's the worst gonna happen? We JB weld it again? First step, oil. Should we put trans oil in it? No. And see if it'll run. I really don't want to put this premium mass oil in it though. Oh well, we'll do it. We need some gas too. Gas, we got gas. So, I actually, I'm starting to feel really bad. I haven't seen what you guys are saying in the comments yet from uh, yesterday's video of fixing this thing, but I kind of feel bad. This bike's in pretty good shape other than the cracked case. I do want to go ahead and say, before we start with anything on this bike, this bike would never be right again and trustworthy with how the case was cracked, unless you split the cases and put a new case on it. So, we're gonna have a good time with it though. Let's put some oil in it. Can't wait till we fill it up with syrup. Ooh, Braden. Oh, I don't know if this thing has oil in it. I didn't hit the drain plug. Fill it all the way up, honestly. Yeah? Okay. Oh my god, you need the bottle? No, I was already open. That should be enough, right? Looks a little nice. That didn't look nice. No, that didn't. <laughs> so today, we're hoping the bike's gonna run, but we cleaned out the carb yesterday, as you guys can see right here. Can you edit that? Yeah. Put it like in my hand. Yeah. Oh wait, hold, 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 hold. wait, wait, wait. Put no. your hand a little flatter. Right, right, right here, we, that. Yeah, there okay. you go, thanks. <laughs> The first one, I'm just gonna put a cat image right there. You know, it would have been a shame if the clutch was stuck and we JB welded it in second gear. But it's not, so we're good. Are you supposed to tilt it up when you... Yes, Miller, you're supposed to. Are we doing anything correctly on this bike build? I guess not. No, we're not. As you tilt the bike no, up. Nope, nope, flat. No. Flat, perfect. Oh, uh, you, you peed a you little bit. Oh, hey. Look at you cleaning up after yourself. It's moisturizer for the concrete. Gas, gas, gas. Everyone's gonna comment. Let's JB weld. No, like literally because I JB welded this thing and totally screwed it, there's gonna be so many comments. You don't know how to work on a bike, blah, 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 blah. Have you seen me ride a bike? You know how often I break them? Yeah, I fix them. I would be broke if I took them to the dealership. I need to put a new top in on that KLX. That's what I gotta do next. You should let me do it. Let you do it? Yeah. I mean, if you want to. Three kicks, that's my guess. Three kicks? Yeah, are we leaking oil? Doesn't look like it. All right, three kicks. Three kicks. But let me guys show you a trick. Oh boy. Yeah, Make sure the turn the gas on for me. Turn on the gas. On? Yeah, if you ever clean a carburetor, there's no gas in this carburetor. What you do, go down here to your uh, carburetor drain nut, uh -huh. pop that, drain some gas out of the carburetor bowl. It's like priming the carburetor, basically. How many kicks? I don't know, I take it back. No, not three kicks anymore? I smashed my fingers with my knee. We gotta go get an air filter. Oh yeah? It actually started and started running so good. I don't wanna run it without an air filter, so. Really? We could actually make this thing last for a little while. The motor's solid. Oh, there's a little bit of time and chain tick, a little bit of slap there, but it's not smoking. You seen smoke? Mm, not much, no, not after you first started it. So not much smoke. Started first kick, the top end's pretty healthy. Uh, like a little bit of gas. Float stuck. Yep. That might be one of the reasons why it's bogging. Gonna have to clean the carb again. <laughs> but let's go to town. Let's get an air filter for this thing. Let me cut the gas off. I might need this thing, Miller. No, it's second gear only. Joey Mac. Joey Mac. <laughs> That's a little. Hey, that'll be the first sneak peek they have of this idea. Joey Mac. Joey Mac. We're just gonna say Joey Mac. surprised it started first kick that was really crazy like i was actually genuinely surprised now what's happened why it's overflowing let me stop because my tires are still out why it's flowing out of the uh overflow is because that what's it called valve seat uh valves brain fart i'll just show you guys when we get back to the house to clean it anyway it's getting stuck that's why it's overflowing but it runs two hundred dollars it's so, like eight dollars in jb weld we're solid we're solid <laughs>
You ready, Miller? <laughs> so the sponsor of today's video is Uni. We gotta put those on the bike along with the hot girl. Air filter oil. Mm -hmm. A dirt bike. Really? Actually, pick it up. No, I'm not picking it up. I'm not falling for it again, Brayden. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Brayden. What? I, I'm literally not. I'm not gonna knock it over. You I'm not gonna. Part. I'm not gonna knock it over. Brayden, I just feel I'm like. I'm not gonna, gonna knock it over. Okay. Okay. No. No. Okay, you win. I won't knock it over. Still holding on to it? Yep. <laughs> We can't be knocking it over. It's my baby, remember? Yeah, sure. Dude, that freaking lever is so bad. What lever? Oh, they dumped a bunch of gas out. Airbox cover. That was really loud. Air filter cage. Air filter. Slides on the cage. This air filter in this bike was shot. I was actually really surprised when it started. There's a lot of gas in the air box from knocking it over, but oh well. I did not expect this thing to start first kick, and I really didn't realize how good of shape this thing was in, other than the cracked case. And now I'm kind of feeling bad for the plans that we have with this thing, like, which means we're gonna even do it. We're just gonna have to do it. There's, I mean, we got to do it. No regrets now. We can't have any regrets. It's too late. We done JB welded the case shut in the second gear. We, we gotta just send it. <laughs> Look at this dude. Air filter, air filter spray, oil, rub it. Really good. Stick it back in. Make sure she's in place. Take off your sweaty, oily gloves. Yeah, make sure you do that. Throw them at Miller. Ah! Air box lid. It's been 30 minutes trying to put it on. I wonder why. Like, I just don't get it. Why does it want to run? Stupid piece! I feel like me dropping this thing is going to get old. Oh. Oh, sh Oops. I did it again. Like, seriously, it's not really one to build power. Kind of confused. Kind of got a little bit of a bog. I don't think it's a carburetor issue because the carburetor is pretty clean, but it could oh, be a carburetor issue. Dude, what? I figured out why it's not running. What? Oh yeah, we gotta try That's this. That's why. That's why. Watch it run perfectly now. Dude. Perfect. Put Dude. the other sponsors on. Yep, yep. Gotta get it perfect. This thing's mint, you know. Where else are we gonna put her? A little crooked, but you know, it's okay. Sponsored! Sponsored! I actually really like this front brake now. Yeah, do you? That's yeah, it's thing. really... <laughs> That's what you get. I did it again. It's kind of, it's kind of became a habit. <laughs> okay, let's clean this carb again. Okay, we need a 10 Phillips flathead. So, this is your float. Just gotta pull this pin right. Uh oh. So, here's this. Let's hope those floats don't. Here's the float. Now. If I can find it, here is the float seat. And this actually, the float pushes this up and down to block off a hole that lets gas come into the carburetor. That is why the carburetor's overflowing. So there you go if you haven't seen one of my carb cleaning videos. Go to the second channel. Everybody, that's great, actually. Go down in the description, click the link to my second channel and subscribe because we're about to start posting some stuff on there. And uh, I feel bad because it doesn't have many subscribers. I don't post on there, but let's get that thing to 100K and we're gonna post like some epic stuff on there. So go click on it, clean this. Pop these jets out, make sure they're clean one last time. So I got a little dirt in there from the last time we had cycle it out. Relatively clean. Screwing this back in, Dude. taking out the pilot jet. The idle jet. Oh, yeah. it's an idle jet not a I think it needs a bigger main jet. I think so too. And that's why it's bogging down with high RPM. But then again, this one's pretty clogged. Bye bye. Pretty solid. I'll see if this thing runs better now. Yeah. And then we go for a little rip. How about that? Sounds good to me, man. Wait for a rip ski. <laughs> Two steps. <laughs> there he goes. Hey.
the motor's not 100% healthy. It does have a lot of tick. I'm expecting the kit I bought it from ran it a little bit without oil. Like low on oil because of the crack. JB Weld's holding up phenomenally. Second gear tapped out. I want to put on my boots and go ride this thing. We're at back to the compound? Compound. Yeah. Let's do it. How am I going to get back there? You ride the Razor. Okay. Whew, I am so excited about this boat build. I can't wait to show you guys it. It's nowhere close to being done. So, you guys got to wait on that. Well, for now, we got the pit bike. Look, there's no shifter on it. That's so weird. Second gear only, boys. There is quite a bit of ticking, but I mean, I guess Hondas are known for that. I'm glad it's not bogging anymore. <laughs> oh, it's so muddy out here today, guys. I got to learn to wheelie this thing. Chain's got a little slack in it. It's like, Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! see if this thing will climb a hill. Oh, look at Miller and the Razor. Hey, buddy. Hey, watch this. Sh <laughs> that didn't work like I was hoping. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got to try that again. It ain't broke nothing yet, gotta do it again. <laughs> oh gosh, you think we could jump the razor? Gonna be the Honda stress test. The Honda stress test. Every Honda that we get, we gotta send it off this ramp with a hole in it. Oh, it's so muddy back here, guys. That's one thing. We're not gonna break anything jumping it like that. Let's try this jump. I wonder how it's gonna handle on this one. <laughs> it is it's like it's nothing. I felt like it could have kept ghost riding it, honestly. It didn't catch traction until like the last second it launched it. Like the clutch just let out. Dude, that was so much air. It shot up like a rocket. No. Dude, oh, dude, do it off of that one, honestly. What one? The one into the water. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so muddy. Oh, we bent the bars. We're gonna have to adjust those back. What else can we jump with this thing? The tires? Miller! The tires! <laughs> this is stupid. What are we doing? Oh, shit. Why are we doing this? And the sad thing is, this bike's held up great. These bars aren't even bent. Might be able to send it over this. He <laughs> made, made a stoppy dog. That was awesome. Trust me. If I was wearing all my like a bunch of mud gear, I could jump off and just hit the dirt. Look how, look how deep the handlebar went to the dirt. Bro. Look at, <laughs> like this is ground level. It's balls deep in there. Ah. Oh no, we're tangled in the fence. Oh, I got dirty. Dang it. Ugh. Let's let's go through this mud hole. So muddy. Miller! No way he's going through that. No way. <laughs> it's a boat! Oh my god. <laughs> I, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this entertainment. This entertainment only cost me $208. Please hit that like button or hit the dislike. Dislike the hell out of this button if you're pissed off. Put it in the comments. Are you pissed off at this right now or are you just enjoying it like me? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> so many people are going to be pissed off at this video. <laughs> oh Honda. Ah, this bitch is actually pretty decent. This is awesome. Who wants to buy it? $400. No, I'm just kidding. Oh 
my gosh. I don't even want to go look at it. That was the best full send yet. Subframe's bent. Well, it's a Honda. It doesn't need a subframe. No. Oh, Braden, there's no way. How are you going to ride it back like that? Watch me. I think that's the end of today's video. If you liked it, please, please smash that like button. If you guys are excited to see more videos with the TRF-80, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe. We don't usually destroy stuff, but today and for the next like two months, hey, I think the next thing we should do is drop test it. Like from like from like the stairs or like no, up there? The top of that tree limb up there. Oh yeah. Like right there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right there. Get a rope, pull it up with the razor and cut the rope and see if it runs after. Sounds like a good if video. If you guys have any great ideas like that one, uh leave it in the comments and we might do it. This bike, I mean literally I fixed it for two hundred and eight dollars. Bought it for two hundred, fixed it for eight. Uh not really fixed. If I probably could have fixed it and sold it. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate, like you should have gave that bike to a little kid or gave it to a fan or something. Here's one of the big ordeals. If I would have put that seal on there and try to JB weld the seal back on that bike, most likely it will leak oil. And number two, it just it's not gonna last with a cracked case you know so even if it would it's my bike and uh the more people that give me hey i feel like whistling diesel right now <laughs> it, it's gonna get bad for the bike pretty quick because uh it's gonna be funny very fun stay tuned guys like and subscribe and uh i'll catch you guys on the next one Let me sprinkle my daisy, my date. Get out of there, kink.